All right, guys. So here's the the uh, programming video I promised. Um, this might not be the right way, but it's the way I've been doing it, and it, it works for me, and it's the way I, I was showing how to do it. So uh, the manual isn't really good showing this. I don't know why. Um, doesn't really tell you how, and uh, uh, you look at the repeater part, and it's it, it's not the right way to to do it. So so let's program this repeater in N0 NBH. It's uh, 147.36. Um, you're gonna you're gonna want to hit the TDR button to get rid of uh, the, the the second the second uh, the second band. It, it'll make it a lot easier. So just hit that. Make sure you're on the top one. Um, so for actually first we're gonna we're gonna go in and go to go to menu 21 so you hit 21 and then uh, menu again hit frequency so you're gonna want to be on frequency hit menu you go back type in 147.360 so we have that Now the offset should just leave it at 600. Um, here, here's here's the negative or plus offset. Um, I believe this is plus offset. So we're gonna go to plus. You can see the plus up there now. Then you go to TCTC, which is the CTSS tone, and that is 100 hertz. So scroll 100 hertz, pop that in. And this is just for local repeaters. I found. Um, I, I don't know if it'll work with every repeater, but. So far, the ones here in Arizona have have, uh, have worked pretty well. So, actually, we want that on high power, wide. So, we're transmit power. Go to high. It'll change the little H down there. Make sure the tone is set right, 100 hertz. It's still on frequency mode. Offset is plus. Offset is 600. That that, that just stays there. It, it's it's been used for every for every uh, repeater I found here. So. And then we're just going to go into memory channel, find one that's open, which is ones that don't have the the channel in front of it. So the next channel will be 17, and we save that. So now now it's stored in memory 17. So we'll go back to menu, hit 21, go to the channel, channel mode, go to 17. and everything should be saved and now I can set the channel name um, going counterclockwise is to move move it over and going clockwise is to actually change the letter so and you gotta be careful because it goes real fast and if you miss it you'll have to go back around So let's just keep that three and go back. So you'll have N0 and BH3. 
so I can go back to 21 again. Good channel mode. If, if you like the names, which I do, and then go back and you have your names, so you can switch that back on. Go down to B. Go to name on that also, so then you have both of them. Uh, if you want to delete that one, which I do because I'm, I'm never going to use it, go to delete. I'll go back to the last one, which is 17, and that's deleted. So I no longer have that. Um, programming satellites, you, you would just do the same thing, but you, you keep the dual mode on and uh so so there's the there's the down frequency for listening to and uh and the up frequency for actually transmitting on so you you program it you program say a o fifty one the up frequency um you program that with with no offset no no uh uh, I, I believe it's a 67 hertz, hertz tone. Um, I'm not sure. Actually, we can check. Yeah, it's a 67 hertz tone. So uh, you leave the TDR on. So on a, if you want to transmit on AO51, um, put the squelch open on the down frequency, and then. Uh, and then transmit on the up frequency and, and you'll still be able to listen to the down because of the dual watch so when you transmit it'll take the audio out of the down but it'll uh... It, it'll come back once you stop transmitting so uh... so, so that guide should work on most repeaters um, I, I don't know if it'll work on all but it, it's pretty much a basic guide on guide on how to do it and uh, I, I still like the radio it's still great radio for the price I just got the the BNC to SMA adapter so I can use my uh, RH77CA and uh, I gotta order the one from China because this isn't exactly right they're supposed to be waterproofing um, little, little gaskets in between so now there's just that whole space open where the the stock antenna would, would fit over it and actually utilize the rubber gasket inside so this will do for now I highly recommend it and uh, I also highly recommend the programming software but um, you, could, you could get by on the guide this way um, if I learn anything else, I'll, I'll be posting new videos. Um, probably a few satellite videos of me doing work with this radio on satellites in the future. And uh, anyways, it, it's a great radio still.